All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are starting our morning stand-up. We had finished our algorithm today. This is week three, day three. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll call on you guys in the list I see you in my Zoom window. So let's go ahead and do our stand-up process. Uh, first on my list is Christian. Christian, when you're ready, go ahead and take it away you there. Awesome. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Hi. Um, so this is just my um website right now. Um I don't have any HTML um functionality yet. But what I do want to do is probably I'd want to get rid of these boxes. Um, I need to put a photo. Um, I also just want to make it bigger just for like readability sake and also have um more scrolling. Um so that it looks bigger, I guess. Um, this is where I would put like um like skills and stuff. I downloaded some uh gifts for the different languages um and skills that I was just gonna pop in here. Okay. Um, and then this would be where like the projects will go. They get their individual divs, but this is just, and then this would be like, uh, descriptions for that. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I made a contact me box okay. here. Yep. So is this contact me box going to work like where they can put their name and email and then send you a message from here? That is, um, the intention. Okay. There's definitely ways to do that uh you should make that like the part of the mvp because this would be super cool to have uh people i i wanted this on my profile i never got it working but i saw there was a solution on google i just didn't implement it so good luck on that Did, do you want to show us your time board to show us where you are in terms of um so for today i wanted to uh do more design i'm probably going to move this whatever and i also need to implement a mobile view mm. um for uh, media queries which i was going to ask you about because i don't uh super know how to do that okay yeah yeah jump in my room we'll we'll work on that together okay. sounds good all right thank you christian up next we have richard Hey, so um, got my background parallax images done. Mm -hmm. I uh, got all my divs set up. I've got my um, nav bar at the top. I've got it working so the menu kind of works as it jumps around. Uh, I've got my most of my footer done. Down here, I want to add my GitHub and LinkedIn uh, links. I'm thinking about having those maybe in the About Me too. Um, updated my board. I finished, or at least I think I finished my all my div setups. Um, I'm not going to do wireframe. Well, I mean, I guess I could move that to extras. Um, and then today, I hope to start the JavaScript components, which I think uh, the contact me will involve. Uh, but I hope to complete the contact me also. And my wireframe hasn't changed, even though it's a little bit out of date at this point. And those parallax images, you posted on Discord how you found those. Yes. Um, I just searched like wallpaper images and the because those seem to be like a great um image resolution and a good size for uh, the images of the background. Nice. And you got the parallax to work. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It, does it now here here's an issue you may you may run into in the parallax. Once we uh show you how to use GitHub pages and deploy it. And you can see how fast this page loads once it's on the web. And yeah. sometimes images uh, with large file size, like large data size, uh, will make the page low slowed. And there's some ways to keep the quality of the image, but also reduce the file uh, size. And there, so I'll, I'll, if you run into that, let me know. 
Okay, we'll do. Um, they're all, uh, I think, 1080p resolution wise, which I know isn't really picture size, but that's the resolution. Okay. So they're not that large, but they're not the smallest. Sounds good. Okay. All righty. Fantastic. Uh, oh, did you share with us your timeline? Did I see that already? Uh, yeah, I can show it again if you want. Okay. I just, I think let's let's share the wireframe and then the timeline from now on, just yeah. so I can um, know how we we do it, please. Okay. So you should. Are you still sharing, Richard, or or? I can I can reshare my um. Board uh, no, you... It's fine. It's on the recording. If you shared it, it's fine. I just I just missed it because, anyways, um, Anthony, let's go ahead and present. Thank you, Richard. Nice progress, I'm liking the way it looks. Thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna pull up my project real quick. Uh, so here's what we have right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked on, I got pretty much all the functionality in. Put in your goodies. Bye. It will give you all your stuff. Um, I just messed around with CSS a little bit after getting all that in place. And then I'm working on the pie chart down here. So it'll be uh, dynamic. So it takes all this information and puts it into the pie chart. Um, so I'm just working on making it dynamic instead of static. That's awesome. And for the Trello, uh, we are today. So functionality is pretty much done uh, aside from like extra stuff. So I'll be working on like the pie chart. And uh, I was kind of thinking about adding um, like live websites to the web to my page, so you could go down. And if you see it, you could scroll through that website from my page. So we'll see if that pans out and that pie chart stuff today. And um, I'm probably gonna pop into your room as well for the uh, media queries on mobile because when I was looking at it, there were a few issues that I tried to figure out, but I could not. Okay. Does everyone, uh, n let me just ask or let everyone know that the the lecture I did on media queries is that the code that I use on that lecture is on GitHub. So if you go to the GitHub, uh, do you want to, do you want to go there now? Just so yeah. you can, we can show everybody. Um, Where's your GitHub at? So we, let's go to the calendar. Oh, thank you, Daisy. Yeah, I, just, yeah, I had it up, so I posted it if anyone needs it. Oh, cool. So just post it. So, yeah, but it's on the calendar. If you see the GitHub tab at the very top center. Uh, yeah, and then go there. And then you can go to week two, day five. That's when I did the lecture. Okay. And then media queries that index.html queries.css and style.css it's a good visual if you just download that make a make a, a project folder for that and then expand and shorten the page you can see what i'm doing with the code and it and then we'll use this to explain um you know media queries once you join join my room when you need some help with that mm -hmm. okay so this is a good starting point for that cool Cool. All right. So thank you, Anthony. Liking what I see. Looking forward to that pie chart. Really interesting, awesome stuff. I don't think I could create a calculator like that. I don't, well, I don't have the nutrition knowledge for that. <laughs> uh, Eric, you're up. All righty, here's my code right here. You said you wanted this. And 
So this is my wireframe still looking the same. Um, right here, I'm working in the mobile view just so the what it see what it looks like. Um, so this is what I have so far. Um, <laughs> I can slide through these. That's cool. Um, and then I have my name, and then I'm going to put more other stuff right here. I haven't really thought it. Um, the parallax I was having trouble with. Um, it would it wouldn't go across the entire screen whenever I did bigger views. Hmm. Uh, but I thought it was fine for like mobile view. Okay. Um, for the project, and then I need to well, you whenever need a media query. You need a me media query to to do that to shorten the. But I think it looks fine the way it works. I don't know. It's up to you. Okay. Um, and then I have my project area. Whenever I, whenever I do the media query, I'm gonna make it where there's four projects showing here. And uh, when it gets bigger, um, three will be there for right now. And then contact me is down here. Mm. Um, so that's what I have. And then what I'm working on. Um, so I. Pr Pretty much right here. Um, I need help with these two things. Um, I can't get the justify content between in the project section. Um, so I put it. I put justify content between in, in Bootstrap, and it wouldn't it put spaces here, no matter how big I made it. Um, so I was going to ask for help for that. And then, um, yep, added some media queries today, and I'm just going to try to finish everything HTML, CSS related so I can work on the optional projects tomorrow. Okay. Looking great. I like the I like the look. Very orange. Is that your favorite <laughs> color? <laughs> I know green is, but I don't know, orange kind of, the theme kind of looked cool to me. I, I think so too. Looks great. All right. Uh next up we have Kai. All righty. So, mine looks like this right now. Mm. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, today I mainly want to get my well. I got to add the logos here and the gifs and stuff of my projects, but I need to make um it functional with the Java and add these buttons. So we, if you press the button, it jumps down here. I think that would be cool. Yeah. And then um, I think at the bottom, I got for a footer, I put like a contact me page that would like what Christian was doing. I think yeah. that would look cool down there. Um, also need to get finished with my mobile view and my media queries. Yeah, it looks just like your wireframe. It's pretty cool. I got, like, does it look too, like, I think it looks too childish, I think. No, no, it's just... It looks great. <laughs> Why? <talk? laughs> it just looks too vibrant. I feel like I need to like tone it down a bit. No, no, I think it's fine. All right. Um, and then here's my oh. here's my Java. So yeah, today I draw JavaScript functions and work on the media queries. Okay. So, all right, looks like we know what we're doing. All right, straightforward. Awesome. Like the look. Thank you. Next up is Lara. Okay, give me one sec. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, wireframe's still the same. I haven't changed it this will likely still if if there have to be any changes to this now I'll, I'll have to just make it as i go um for my trello uh all functionality is done so everything that i needed that was going to be my mvp is done i've moved all my if time stuff to tomorrow and uh today i'll be starting all css so all my main um javascript functions are in uh these are all the ones that are done uh, with all the help from everybody yesterday. Uh, this is what it looks like right now. So it's fully functional to the point where I'm happy to present this. I just obviously have to make it look good. Uh, so I, if you can pick a traditional starter, let's say you pick, we can pick fire. We'll get, like I showed yesterday, you got Tepig. The things that I added was uh, for error cases. So let's say we can pick fighting normal. 
Now, there are no fighting normal type Pokemon. There are the inverse of this. There are normal fighting, but there are no fighting normal. I feel like this was probably the biggest error that a user would probably run into is just like getting the, the typing right, but the order wrong. Mm. Um, so when it pops up, it'll, it's going to search through. It's going to search through. I put a try and catch. So when it pops up, you'll get this thing <laughs> saying, it looks like this Pokemon hasn't been discovered yet. Try a different combination. It's Professor Oak telling you that. And then when you cancel out of it, there's actually, this is for the oh, no. old school gamers. Yeah, this is Missing No, which was a Pokemon from uh, Red and Blue, the original games. If you caught this Pokemon, it corrupted your save file. Uh, so you would your save would be just useless. So, But if you do this the other way around and you do normal fighting, there are normal fighting Pokemon. You just have to select them. Um, the last thing that I added was the finalize button. If I can reach it down here because the thing is in the way. Let's see if I can move it. Okay. Uh, the finalize button. Let me just throw some Pokemon in here. Let's just pick flying, uh, rock, ground, uh, water, electric. No, no, oh, there are water electric Pokemon. And let's get a dragon Pokemon, maybe dragon ghost. I do have a dragon ghost Pokemon that I really like. Um, yeah, so then I, ma I managed to get the major error case, which was probably going to be that. I do have some minor error cases that or some fringe cases that I thought of that I'm going to try to get that fixed or put into it as well. Um, we don't have to wait for this to finish. But the last thing I added was when you finalize, uh, it says, congratulations, here's your team. And it takes the Pokemon that you've selected and throws them into this modal, uh, this grass right now, because it's still searching for Pokemon. Um, but ideally, these six would be your six Pokemon. And the last thing that I would like to add for this, if I have time, is, oh, there he is, Dreepy. Um, once you close this or select out of it, Edge Graveler, um, it'll refresh the page. So these six Pokemon will disappear, and then you can start over from zero if you would like. Uh but yeah, so that's all my basic functionality that I would want to be able to ship. And uh, now today is just going to be all CSS and getting this to start looking like uh, my wireframe. And this is this is awesome because we went from programming basics now to doing try catches for, <laughs> for fighting normal Pokemons and all the others. <laughs> yeah, this is this was a lot of fun to make. So I'm excited to get it to look nice too. Yeah, I'm excited for that too. So, it, can we see your Trello board? Oh yeah, um, Trello. Yeah. So today we'll just be primarily focused on starting CSS. Uh, I could get more detailed in that. I didn't have. I didn't make details because I was so focused on uh, uh, getting all the functionality in. But I'll start with the mobile view, similar to how Eric is doing his, most likely, and then expand from that. And we'll see if, if I can get it to look like this, like how I want it to. Um, and then if I have time tomorrow, I'll start working on some of these extra features. I'll probably add these extra features regardless, um, like as, you know, when I have free time later on, because uh, I do, I would really like to have these features as a part of uh, this web page too. Okay. So, do you have a uh, a wireframe for the CSS look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have, I'm going to start here with the mobile and start right. here and then start to once it, I can get it to look like this on mobile, I'll start to expand and get the PC and tablet views in as well. Yes, I'm excited for Friday. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Okay, oh, I lost track of who that, uh, my list. Um, all right, next up we have Josh Lee. Yeah, so I'm actually pretty behind on everything that I was supposed to be doing. Um, let me go ahead and minimize this. So this is my Trello board. I was supposed to finish my HTML, my CSS, and research media queries, which I didn't really get around to doing. Um, so I moved it all for today, finished the HTML, CSS, inspect the bootstrap inbuilt rules, which I've been really struggling with, and um, research which Java functions I need, probably do that tomorrow, honestly, and then make up for the lost time, which I uh, lost yesterday. So this is my code. Um, this is the CSS, the JavaScript. Um, so I'm going to run the page. And this is what I have, right? But I need this to go here. 
and then yeah there's just a lot of stuff that i need to research with bootstrap because like i realized that bootstrap has like all these inbuilt rules to it so like look at that like that's something that i need to somehow take out and then move everything else in and then like obviously my mobile view is just not very mobile friendly um which could probably be fixed with media queries now i just need to know how to like overlap rules from bootstrap and um css and javascript which is no, kind of like... it's not it's not media queries it's the column system and we can go over this but if you go to the bootstrap page and th this will get you started before we can go over it either in mine or uh, colby's room so if you go to the left hand column scroll down scroll down scroll down and it's in narciso's lecture as well so it's somewhere in there that he explains but he's going to go over this section uh where is the columns oh uh, yeah, yeah yeah okay let me go up a little bit maybe yeah probably above the components layout not forms not content keep going oh, oh okay columns there we are so scroll down so and just, so there's some documentation here that you can try to make sense of but you see uh this row contains three columns and so it will separate out everything in there by the number of columns and if you keep scrolling down you can set the width of the column by the uh, size of the uh of the page actually i don't know if narciso does this keep scrolling down there's there should be an example so keep going keep going just different examples here we are Co when when you see uh call nine call four now we're giving sizes to the columns we can give also sizes to the columns based on the size of the screen so keep scrolling down i think there should be an example of that here we are so we can have the size of the column in the row depending on the size uh, of the screen. So SM stands for small screen. And you're going to say column, I want it to be three sizes and it's three out of 12. So if there's 12 columns in a row. So you're saying, normally I want it to be six columns, but when the column is small, then I want to make it to be three. But when, when the screen is small, I want the columns to be three out of 12. So here's where you want to get started. And um, uh, I don't think Narciso, well, I would go back he, and check. He, the Narciso list. does talk about it. He does when he's doing the making the profile page, he put the column as column eight and column four on the right side. Um, So he like briefly went over that. It was out of 12 and all that. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, um, there you have it. It's there. But if you need more help, jump in my room. But here's where you want to get started with this system here. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I don't know, actually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to implement this thing in time. It might just have to be like more as I go through the program, if I'm not able to finish this by Friday, mm -hmm. I could still at least show this and then hopefully add a few JavaScript functions to it. Um, yeah. so yeah, no, it's looking good. You're making good progress. So again, we want to have an MVP done by Friday. Define what that is for yourself. Did you write the statement for what the MVP should be? Minimum viable product. So what's the bare minimum you should be presenting by Friday? Um, The actual front of the website. Yeah. So then make that your goal. And then you can continue working on it on your own time when you're not working on the rest of the bootcamp content. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Cool. All right. So thank you, Josh. Looking good. Next up, we have Daisy. Okay, um, let me go to my Trello board. So I spent most of my day yesterday doing the CSS HTML. I don't think, am I sharing the right screen? Okay, which one am I? Do y'all see my Trello board? Yes. Okay. Um, I don't think I got 70% of it done. Um, I think I got more like 60% of it. I I run I got the nav bar done, but it's still not working right now. Like anything I click, it goes all the way to the very top. Um, so I'll fix that later. And then 
Um, I think what I'm struggling with is like if I run into a problem within like each container that I'm working in, like this one trying to move this one, this to be exist in here in this center, I kind of just like stop and then move on to the next one and then run into like another issue where like I can't get the image above. Then I stop and move on to the next one. But I think right now that's kind of where my page is at. It's like a bunch of sections that are like halfway done. Yeah. Um, so that's what I'm going to kind of finish up today. And then something I'm struggling with, I can't figure out why if I've already removed my containers, it's not going like edge to edge of the page. What What is not touching the edges? The pretty much all the center piece here. Okay. So you want it to, to reach the edges? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's inspect it. Okay. And you can move, uh, yeah, well, that's fine. Um, so let's, let's hover over with the click tool. Hover over. Yeah. Try to, try to hover to a place where it hovers all of that middle section. So you're kind of just waving the wand around until you get that area kind of closer to the edge of it. Can't you also inspect the actual divs itself? To yeah, see you can also, yeah. So I have a bad habit of making it hard. But you can inspect the actual divs itself. So there you are. Click or click the body on the HTML representation on the right. The yeah, body above. So that's everything. And now highlight over the container. So click it. And then we can see the CSS that's being applied below. So max width 1,040 pixels. You're setting the max width for your container to be this mount, which is what I think this looks like, 1,140 pixels, when your screen is at this size. I so, don't have that in my CSS, though. Like, I don't know. It's not in your CSS? I mean, that's where it, it, what that's what's coming up. So it got so it. That's the media query from the, the bootstrap, no? The, that's the bootstrap set rules that I was talking about that I was having troubles with too. Oh, okay. Uh, so are you using bootstrap, Daisy? Or the nav bar so far. Just, but just the nav bar, not the container. No. Okay. But when you use classes and you incorporate bootstrap, whenever you name things by the conventional bootstrap name, you're borrowing from bootstrap their automatic rules. So mm -hmm. your container is a bootstrap style container because you called it container. Call it like container one, two, three or something and see how it may change. I think this would change it. So let's go to your page. We'll do one quick debugging since we're almost done here. Oh yeah, I did it. I did it on my, All right. so I actually don't have the container on CSS. Um, but I did rename it here and it fixed. Yeah. It. So it, it's not the conventional bootstrap name. So therefore bootstrap is not going to apply to it. Okay. Cool. Um, thank you. And then as far as like what I'm going to do, today, I'm going to finish that. And then I need like small things like replace the icons, look for new ones. Um, finish the about me section, bug. Richard on how to add multiple parallax because I tried to do the second one and it wasn't popping up mm -hmm. um, and then start my JS. And if I don't finish that, do it on Thursday. I'm not going to have too many JavaScript features. So I'm not, or functionalities. I'm not as worried about it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, no, it's looking great. I like the progress and I like the color scheme too. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Daisy. Next up we have Viviana. All right, share my screen. Okay, I'm sure, sorry. Okay, can you see my screen? Okay, so this was my original wireframe. I added a little thing on the top, so I didn't include that. Did you want us to include changes, Josh, to our wireframe, like if we, it's nothing big, but yeah. If you made some changes to your wireframe, it, the morning standup would be the time to tell us. Yeah. Okay. So I added this thing on the top just because it was kind of really boring. 
the oh. color scheme is not finalized. So I just have things and um, I have the about me section, the skills and places to put projects examples. Mm -hmm. um, so I still have a lot to do. I want to do a contact me div at the bottom. Um, and I have to finish the styling with CSS and finalize the color scheme, maybe a better image, maybe add more images. Um, and then the context of the about me section mm -hmm. and figure out what project examples to put in there. Okay. JavaScript functions. So I guess for right now it's working when I go from like the web to like, um, mobile version so I'm happy about that but I just want to make it more interesting and more functional okay yeah and I like the background for the opening that background image but mm -hmm. I I'd, I'd like to encourage you to I mean to make it through CSS you can make a div slanted in CSS oh, and okay yeah I'm not I'm not even sure I want this like two color thing I just have something in there for right now yeah, it looks good. I mean, okay. But yeah, you know, I mean, I'm just suggesting. Oh, like the two divs I can make through CSS? Yeah, you just make a div, a pink one on the left where this H1 lives in, but you make it, it's right slanted and you just look up some CSS rules on Google how to do that. That way the resolution oh. looks really clean. It looks like, it just looks like an image that's, that's not high resolution. And instead of just yeah. finding higher resolution you could oh. just do it yourself with the okay. sounds good thank you uh -huh. looking good cool everyone's projects are are coming along really nicely and this is like the best this is like the icing on the cake for me because we went from programming basics to now i can't wait till friday to see how you guys make some uh, finalize your projects so Looking good. Let me share my screen and then uh, I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Okay. So here we are. I am moving the afternoon check in to three. Okay. So that gives you more time to work on your stuff. I'm going to have to just delete this all together. Okay, so afternoon check-in. We're going to do it at three today so that you guys have more time to work on your projects and present some more progress by this afternoon. Um, what else do I want to say? Yeah, um, stand-ups are, are a way of just keeping us honest in our work and showing what we're, what we're progressing in, explaining our thought process. I remember some days... Uh, I would work all night to try to find a solution to whatever bug or feature I was trying to implement. And I wouldn't, I'd stay up all night, couldn't find it in work, even in the morning. And I would solve it right before my turn to, to speak in the standup. And it's like, oh, okay, no, we're all good. Everything's fixed. Just moving on to the next thing. And sometimes that's how it is, you know? So that standup time just keeps us in a, in a timely order. Okay. So Looking good, you guys. Um, so we'll see each other again at three and that'll be our last uh, attendance check for the day. Tomorrow morning, we'll do another algo and then uh, start installing Python, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and create some groups. I'll stop sharing, I'll stop the recording.